Hello viewers, this is Dot Too Fast here. In today's video, I will show you this sonar parking sensing device. Now many of you may have seen sonar parking kits you can install on vehicles. Those require that you drill into the bumper and install the individual sensors. With this system, it requires no drilling, no wiring, and the installation time takes no more than five minutes. So stay tuned and I'll show you what this is. This wireless parking sensor system you're looking at is from Makes the company sense. and they've integrated radar sensors into the license plate frame for an easy and quick install. Let me unbox this and I'll show you what comes in this kit. Here's a quick start guide with a QR code you can scan for the app. On the back. Is a user manual. Here we have a remote button, mounting screws, magnetic cell phone holder, tools, batteries, and the license plate frame with integrated radar sensor. Here's a look at everything you get with this unit. Taking a closer look at this license plate frame, at the bottom is the battery compartment and this cover plate is held in by two security screws that you see right here. Now they've included this special tool for you to remove these screws. Now you can remove this top cover and install the two AA batteries. When it comes time to installing this license plate frame onto your vehicle, they've included these two type of screws and both of them have the same head with a security screw. And this is a tool you'll be using to install these screws. Let's go over some of the spec on this unit. With new AA batteries installed, the unit will operate for five months, assuming you use it for about five times a day. This unit uses Bluetooth version 4.1 to communicate with the mobile app. And the communication is good for a distance of 10 meters. The app supports both iOS and Android. And the radar sensor range is approximately 10 feet. Using this quick start guide, I'll scan the QR code to install the app. As you can see, the QR code took me directly to a website, but not to an app download. So let's choose Android. And here it is, install. On this home page, you have shortcuts to additional apps you can install. If you select the settings button right here, yeah. you can turn on and off the notification, turn on a vibration, adjust the sound, and this is the loudness of the alert that you'll hear on your phone. Turn on and off the Bluetooth, adjust the clearance, manage devices, and check for updates. Now if you select this icon on the left side, this will display the parking sensor and give you the alert for the parking. You can mute it. So let's say you're parking your vehicle and you want to use a fence sense parking. system. Instead of having to find your phone and open the app, you can press this remote button right here. It will automatically open up the fence sense app and it will alert you like any regular parking sensing system. So let's take this to the car, install it and see how well it performs. Installation is very simple. First, remove the license plate frame if you have one already. Now, 
Now the kit includes these security screws that you see right here. There are short ones for the top and long ones for the bottom. But if you only have a mount for the top ones, you just need two of these short ones. Go ahead and install this onto your vehicle. Using this special tool that I've included, tighten the screw. After you install the fence sense, you do need to do some measurements. And make sure this license plate is not higher than four feet. As the sensor gets moved higher and higher, the accuracy of detecting objects on the ground is less. So I've gone ahead and measured the height of this license plate and it's three feet. Next, refer to the user manual on page 11. There's a table right here. And for three feet high license plate, you should adjust the clearance to seven to nine inches on the app. So in your FenseSense app, go to Settings, Clearance. I'm going to set this to 7 inch. I place a FenseSense remote control on the steering wheel right here. It allows for quick access to so the app. So once I press a button in the middle right here, it'll open up the app. And here you can see I'm backing up against the garage. Right now the back of the vehicle is about two feet away from the garage door. I'm gonna slowly pull the vehicle forward and you hear the difference in the sound from this constant sound to the beeping sound. As you saw in the video, this unit works very well, is very easy to operate, and since this is a wireless device, the installation is very simple. It shouldn't take you more than 5-10 minutes to install this on your vehicle. The overall build quality is also very good. However, there is one thing I want to mention. This is actually the second time I uploaded this video. The first time I uploaded this onto my channel, there was a viewer kind enough to mention about a concern he had with the design of this license plate style parking system. Now in most US states and Canadian provinces, there is a car registration sticker you must place on your license plate. Depending on which state or provinces, that sticker can either be placed in the middle, on the left side, right side, top left hand side, or top right hand side. Now if you look at the overall design of this system, you'll realize the bottom portion of this license plate frame is occupied by the sensor and the battery compartment. And that's why they have a sticker here saying remove this sticker and place lower registration tabs here. So if you're in a state or province where the registration sticker must be placed at the bottom of the license plate, they want you to place that on this surface right here. And that's why there are security screws used to hold this compartment in so it doesn't get stolen. And with this, I have several concerns. One is let's say if you already have a sticker on your license plate, you can't just easily remove those stickers. They're designed to break apart when you start peeling it off. And that's because they don't want people to steal it. Now let's say if it's time for you to register your car and you get a new sticker and you place it onto the bottom portion of this license plate, assuming that's what's required for your state that you live in. My second concern will be the possibility of a police pulling you over for not having a proper car registration sticker on your license plate. Now for those of you who live in a state where the registration sticker is located at the top left hand corner or top right hand corner, then this product will be no issue for you. As I've shown you in this video, the product does work. 
But this little gray area about the registration sticker is something that you need to consider if you want to buy this product. Anyways, I hope you found this video to be informative and I will include the Fencense link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts about this product. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.